Why is Knoxville so poor? And why is the property disparately affecting our black community? Uh, I think there's a host of reasons for this, and I think they are based on long-term uh, systemic racism that's affected this city and this country. I think that has resulted in really bad policies like urban renewal that devastated the black community that was uh, integrated and thriving and had businesses, and now that uh, big swath of that community has been replaced by James White Parkway. I think the poverty is also explained by lack of economic mobility. And this is a problem in our city. It's, it's not just our city, but it's particularly entrenched in our city. Uh, I worked for 10 years on the school board because I believe that education is a big part of that solution. And uh, I think things have gotten better and fits and starts. But what the problem is also a contributing factor to all this is that we have concentrations of poverty. Through a wide variety of current and historic practices with the way mortgage lenders work, with redlining, with the way commercial lending works, with people's access to capital and access to um, training opportunities have been uh, unequal. And so parts of town have concentrated poverty in no way out. So when I'm mayor, I want to focus on economic mobility. Uh, I want to bring, invest in the people who are suffering from poverty, who are experiencing poverty, and not just give more subsidies and handouts, but give them the opportunity to build wealth in their own community. Uh, I've, I'm not sure what my time frame is, but... I still have a minute left, okay. Uh, one of the things I would like to do is not, I, I don't know what the name of the office would be, but to have a focus, focus center in the city of Knoxville in my administration called Community Wealth Building. And this is, will be about helping people in poverty get out of poverty. And, and it's really important to meet people where they are. Maybe you're uh, low income enough where you are getting an earned income tax credit. And so you get this lump sum of money and Sometimes you need to pay it, use it all to pay off a health care bill. Sometimes you need it to pay for a funeral. But sometimes, if you had help and support and counseling and guidance, you might be able to set it aside and have matching funds so you could grow and use it towards a down payment towards a house. Uh, they're doing this in other cities like Rochester, New York, and I think it's a good idea for our city too.